What is congenital myopathy? Here's a quick story to help you understand. This is Jimmy, and this is his fraternal brother, Timmy. At birth, Jimmy's parents noticed he looked different from the other babies in the hospital. He wasn't moving around very much, he felt unusually floppy, and he had a soft cry. The doctor noticed Jimmy wasn't breathing normally, so he sent him to the intensive care unit and put him on a ventilator to help him breathe. Jimmy's doctor called a neurologist to come and see Jimmy to figure out a reason for his floppiness. The neurologist decided to run some tests on Jimmy. First, he lifted Jimmy up as he was lying down to check if his head lagged behind the rest of his body as he pulled Jimmy up. It turned out it did. The neurologist also checked Jimmy's breathing problems by going through a spirometry test in order to check his forced vital capacity, which is the amount of air that his lungs can hold. She also ordered a swallowing study because he had trouble feeding and getting nutrition and found that he needed a feeding tube. He also noticed that Jimmy had hypotonia, or low muscle tone, which led to muscle weakness and contractors in his joints, which did not give him his full range of motion. The neurologist recommended that Jimmy's parents get a muscle biopsy or microscopic image of a muscle to diagnose Jimmy. The location of where the biopsy is performed is important. In order to get an accurate diagnosis of the disease, the most affected area of the muscles should be taken. In order to find the most affected muscle to get accurate results for the biopsy, the doctor first performed an ultrasound, a technique of using sound waves to visualize structures too small to be seen by the human eye. He used this to check exactly where the affected muscles were. Another way to check would be an MRI, but this technique would not be very effective on young children such as Jimmy, because it is too loud, and Jimmy would have to stay very still for a long time. They found the most affected muscles in the thigh. Jimmy went to a surgeon. The surgeon removed some tissue from Jimmy's thigh muscle. The tissue was then frozen and sent to a lab. The pathologist at the lab later evaluated the muscle biopsy. He determined that Jimmy has a form of muscle disease called congenital myopathy or CM. Congenital myopathy is a genetic muscle disorder present at birth that leads to muscle weakness. It differs from another muscle disorder called congenital muscular dystrophy because it is not progressive, meaning that it usually does not get worse over time. The problem in CM lies inside the muscle cell. To understand congenital myopathy, we first need to understand how muscles work on a cellular level. Muscles create movement by contracting and relaxing. When a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine is re released from the nerve, it attaches to a receptor which then in turn causes a chain of events which ultimately leads to the release of calcium. This calcium binds to actin, which then binds to myosin. Actin and myosin are the basic building blocks of muscle. However, in congenital myopathy, the calcium is not released, so muscles can't contract. There are many different diseases that fall under the congenital myopathy category. The five main forms are core myopathy, rod myopathy, core and rod myopathy, congenital fiber type disproportion, or CFTD, and centronuclear myopathy. So which type does Jimmy have? Well, we can narrow it down by comparing some muscle biopsies and gene diagnoses. Here's an example of centronuclear myopathy muscle biopsy. Notice how all the nuclei are in the center of the cells, and how the cells are different sizes. An unaffected muscle cell would have nuclei on the outside of the cells, and all of the cells would be the same size. A few weeks after the muscle biopsy, Jimmy's doctor asked for a genetic test through blood testing. When the results of this test came in a couple of weeks later, we found out that the MTM1 gene was affected and that caused Jimmy to have the disorder. We still don't know everything about congenital myopathy, but scientists are working hard to understand how it works, how to help people deal with it, and how we can one day find a cure. Thanks for watching. For more information on congenital muscle disorders, you can visit www.cmdir.org.